Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss state model from the signal flow graph. So before starting these problems, we already discussed and different different models are available. In this, he given the signal flow graph model. So first in the signal flow graph model, first we have to derive the transfer function from this transfer function. We will we will get the state state space model. Okay. So first here the model is like this. Here the model is like this. He he given u is the input and y is the output. Okay. And we have a different different things are there. So generally first in order to start any state space model first you should take the first assumption is just assume y is some x1 you should take some y is some x1 so that's why so again i will redraw this no need to redraw this just this point is taken as x1 this point is taken as x1 and x2 equal and you will take x next next condition is x1 dot equal to x2 just take x1 dot equal to x1 okay next x3 dot equal to x3 dot equal to x2 okay so first output variable equal some assume state variable x1 and next differentiation of the state variable will give x2 and differentiation of state variable it will give the x3 okay yes so just put and different different values this is x1 and this value is the x2 and this value is the x3 so there is a chance of 3 only and this is and this is the remaining part is become x3 dot remaining part is become the x3 dot okay so in order to y reach the x1 we have the two before before y you should put x1 after that you should take the node is x2 after that you should take the node is x3 after that you should take the node is the x3 dot x3 dot so this is the recognition recognition of the nodes in the signal programs okay so from this we will find out what is x3 dot value from the signal flow graph this is the x3 dot if you observe here x3 dot is this is the x3 pole x3 into minus 3 okay and this is the x2 point x2 into minus 5 and this is x1 into minus 7 and what about u will be reached there is no given you should take 1 the gain you should take the 1 so I will write here so in order to get the x3 dot x3 dot is 1 into input u first thing what about x1 x1 is going to the x3 dot by gain of 7 so minus 7 into x1 what about here x2 is going to the x3 dot by the gain of minus 5 minus 5 into x2 and what about x3 x3 is going through the gain of minus 3 so minus 3 into x3 minus 3 into x3 okay yes so x3 dot equal like this okay x3 dot equal like this so finally this will give the x3 dot information so we are getting the x3 dot values and by using that we will write the what about y what about output y we should draw the output y also so how it changes output y so this is the output y and x1 is reach the y by multiplying the gain of 2 that's why 2 into x1 this is here x2 will reach the output y by the gain of 4 so therefore 4 into x2 and what about 3 x3 will reach the gain y by multiplying the gain of 6 so 6 into x3 is there anything no it doesn't have anything 
so this is about the y this is about the y so by using this we will write the state space state model so here we have three things x three state variables x1 x2 x3 so these all are the three state variables okay so we will use the these three state variables then state space model x dot is like this x1 dot and x2 dot and x3 dot x3 dot these are the three dots and we will get we will get 3 by 3 matrix we have 3 by 3 matrix how the 3 by 3 matrix look at here from this is the minus 3 and this is the minus 5 and this is the minus 7 right just write there that will become that will become like this so minus 3 how it is minus so how it is minus once again write this so I can modify into single equation that is the x3 dot and it is 7x1 and 5x2 plus 3x3 minus u equal to 0 minus u is equal to 0 so so this is x3 so start from here to get the x3 start from here this is the minus 3 minus 5 minus 7 just note down here those are this is the minus 3 and next is the minus 5 so first write the third cable sorry so this is the first is the minus 3 here minus 5 minus 7 so minus 3 and minus 5 and the minus 7 okay and the last terminal is the 1 whatever another terminal 0 1 0 0 1 0 yeah 0 1 0 this is the a and this a is x1 x2 x3 will be added then if you write here x3 dot equal minus 3 x1 minus 5 x2 minus 7 x3 okay then we will get x1 dot equal x1 dot equal you will get x2 x2 dot equal you will get x3 x2 dot equal you will get x3 so it will satisfy all the equations if you extend this you will satisfy the all the equations plus bu what about b u so here bu simply we will write x3 dot has only u doesn't have anything x3 dot is all only u that is plus one so that is plus one so x1 dot doesn't have any u 0 x2 doesn't have any u 0 but if you observe x3 has the u element that the coefficient is minus coefficient is minus 1 when it comes to the matrix it is the u comes to the matrix it is the u next we will use the next output matrix output equation so output equation this is the equation i will write the equation again the equation is y equal to 2x1 plus 4x2 plus 6x3 this is the equation 2x1 4x2 cx3 so from this i will write like this this is the y y is the output it's a single output and it will consisting the combination of these two and 4 and 6 with consisting of the three elements those are x1 and x2 and x3 x1 and x2 and x3 okay so this is about the y that means this is the c so this is the a matrix and this is the b matrix and this is the c matrix we have the three different different mat matrices different different matrices okay so whenever problem is given like this that means he give some input and he, he give some signal flow graph like this first you take here first you take here first node you should take x1 
first node you should take the sum x1 and second node x2 third node x3 fourth node x4 so here if you observe here how can you understand this this is 2 into x1 will give that but look at here 1 by s yes. so, so if we have a relation already here how what is the relation look at here so in order to get the x1 what is here x2 into 1 by s x2 into 1 by s what is 1 by s represents x1 equal to x2 integration 1 by s if you remove the 1 by s you will get the integration then dx1 by dt equal to x2 that means i will write x1 dot equal to x2 so same as here x3 dot equal to x2 x3 dot equal to x2 okay so like that x3 dot equal to x2 so here whenever we are doing the dot integration you will get x3 why we have 3 only just doing here we have 1 by s here 1 by s here 1 by s here so if you did 1 by s and 1 by s and 1 by s 3 are available whenever 3 are available then degree is 1 by s cube here the degree is 3 then automatically we have the three state variables okay by using this integration concept first we will find out where we have the x1 where we have the x1 then x2 then x3 then modify this we will get this state transition matrix state model okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you